Okay, hello. Hi team. Uh, strange angle to usual. If you have been here before and seen the previous version that I did of this, you will know what we're about to do. But we're going to go through and purge my shelves again. Um, I know I only did this like a couple months ago, two or three months ago, and it seems ridiculous that I have to do it again. But apparently I wasn't vicious enough, which is ridiculous because I got rid of 60 books in that purge. But after saying that, I have way more books coming in than I do going out. So we need to go through and do it again. And I think I need to be a little bit more vicious this time. Not only that, but we're actually going to do something different as well. So, if any of you watch um, Becca's channel from Becca and the Books, you will know that she has a, an unhaul project going on in the background in which she has a bunch of books in her TBR car that she wants to read still. She is still interested in, but she doesn't think she'll ever reread them again once she's finished, or she's not sure fully if she will like them or not. So, the chances are she's probably going to unhaul them as soon as she's re read them. So... We're going to do something very, very similar. So credit to Becca because this is not an original idea. Credit to Becca for this one. Um, I'm not sure if it's her original idea or it's come from someone else previously. But I'm going to give credit to Becca because this is where I've seen it. Um, and we are going to do two piles. So one's going to just be pure unhaul and the other one is going to be unhaul project. And then once I've been able to tidy this room up because I can't tell you how bad this fucking room is right now. It's horrendous behind the camera. It's awful. So one once we have, um, once I've tidied this room up and got it looking some sort of clean, I will then bring my TBR cart back up from downstairs and we will be putting the unhaul books back in there. So we won't do that today, but that will then become part of my unhaul project. I have put a card on my Bookopoly board um, under Chance or Community Chest, can't remember which one now, uh, for unhaul project. So when that comes up, I have to pick a book out of my TBR cart. So... A, it means that my TBR car is getting actual reasonable use because at the moment it fucking isn't. It's almost empty. It's literally just got my TBR in the top of it and what I want to read for next month's TBR. Um, and then B, it will take a bunch of books off of here that I know I want to still am interested in but I just keep avoiding picking up, so I should be picking them up really. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just gonna leave you there for now and I will drag books off and show you what I have. For starters, I do have a stack already. So this stack is a bunch of books that I've either DNF'd or I've read and I'm not gonna reread. Um, so to start off with, we have When Stars Are Scattered, which is a middle grade graphic novel that I have read. I gave this four stars, it was really good, but I'm never gonna reread it, so I am gonna unhaul it. We've got Teach Me by Olivia Dade. I have read this one as well. I gave it four stars, I did enjoy it, but I'm never gonna reread it, so I might as well unhaul it. We then have Dragons in a Bag and The Dragon Thief, which I gave both of them three stars, I think, but I have read them, so I'm never gonna reread them. I'm unhauling them. I've got To Make Monsters Out of Girls by Amanda Lovelace. I have read this one. I think I gave this one three stars. It wasn't one of my favorite poetry collections from her, but I have read it now. I'm never gonna reread it, so I am gonna get rid of it. Killjoy by Holly Jackson. I have read this one. I'm not gonna reread it, so I am unhauling it. I think I gave this one four stars. I do really enjoy this storyline in general. Then I've got The Witch's Boy by Kelly Barnhill, which I DNF'd, unfortunately. I'm really gutted about it because I was really looking forward to it after enjoying The Girl Who Drank the Moon. But I did DNF this one, so I will be unhauling it. Then I'm going to be unhauling Chasing Daisy by Paige Toon. I did DNF this one as well. Absolutely devastated about the DNF on this one because I really, really wanted to love this one. I had such high hopes absolutely gutted so i will be on haul in this one howl's moving castle another one i'm absolutely devastated that i've dnf'd i really wanted to love this one so um i'm absolutely devastated to be on haul in this one it's so fucking sad um so yeah it's going as far as you'll take me i did dnf the um publisher did send me this one but i dnf'd it unfortunately the anxiety rep in here was that good that it gave me anxiety and i just wasn't enjoying the storyline in general so i've dnf this one it's going and then speak which is another graphic novel that i have read i think i gave this one four stars but i'm not going to reread it so i am unhauling it also so that's my first lot of unhauls let's go to the shelves i'm going to be really brutal here i think so so we'll see what happens but also I need to remember that I need to take books off for my own haul project as well and put them in a separate pile so I think what I might do is take those off put them in a separate pile not mention them just mention the unhauled books for now and then we'll sit down and go through my unhaul project bit if you want so the books that I'll be keeping but will be going on my unhaul TBR 
if that makes sense, on my unhaul TBI card. I forgot a word there. Um, so, we're gonna get rid of this. Okay, so from that first shelf, I have The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. I have read this one, I think I gave it four stars, but I'm never gonna reread it, so I might as well unhaul it. Um, I have Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. I have unhauled the entire Stranger Dream, no, it's not Stranger Dream. <laughs> um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone dual, uh, trilogy because I DNF'd on the second book. Um, I did read this one and I really enjoyed it. It's so cute, but I'm never going to reread it. So I, as pretty as it is, it was really pretty. I'd love to keep it, but I need the space. I've got to be brutal here. So I'm going to unhaul it. And then we've got Master of One. This is the Fairy Loot edition. I'm really sad about getting rid of this, but I haven't heard anything good about this. And I'm really gutted about it because it sounds incredible. Um, so I'm really, really sad about getting rid of it but i haven't heard anything good so it's gonna go unfortunately and i've managed to make i don't know if you can see that but i've managed to make some decent progress there as well because i've taken one two three four five six seven books off there as well for the unhaul project so <laughs> yay um i do have books up here as well don't know if you can see that up there so let me just have a quick butch and see if there's anything up there that i want to take off this unhaul project's going to be huge, I think. <laughs> Just trying to make room on my shelves. Um, okay. The rest can stay. Uh, so, we're on here now. This, ironically enough, is a shelf that I really, really love. And I'm excited about everything on it. I've either read most of them or um, their ongoing series. So, there's that. I think what I might take off, I don't think I'm going to reread these, but they're just so pretty. Romanoff and Forks by Nadine Brands, I've read them both, I gave them both four stars, but I don't think I'm going to reread them, so I, I'm not sure. I could, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so then we'll go over here and do this top shelf. Um, we're going to go across on the basis that it's going to be a pain in the ass keep moving this friggin' tripod otherwise up and down. Um, on here... Okay, so the only one I'm unhauling from all of that is going to be more than this, I think, by Patrick Ness. Um, or do I? Maybe it could... Maybe it can go on the unhaul project. <laughs> this is what happens when you bring something else into the mix and start fucking around with the unhaul. Um, okay, we'll do two shelves at a time because you can see both shelves here. So on this shelf, I'm not getting rid of a damn thing. That's all staying. Same on this shelf as well. They're all staying. So that was that was great, wasn't it? Great productivity. So now we're over here. Again, nothing's changing here. Um, similarly on this shelf. This has now become my Brandy Sandy shelf. <laughs> Don't know if you can see, but this is all Brandon Sanderson to here. And then we have all actually i tell a lie i think i talked about this series in the last unhaul but i'm definitely getting rid of these for now because um i've read the first one and honestly i have zero interest in carrying on with the series i it was probably the last thing i will ever pick up on my shelf so i'm just gonna get rid of it we're unhauling the whole lot of the never Nevernight trilogy but i will be keeping the um books that he's done with that jay christoph's done with amy kaufman because i really enjoy those um so we're gonna unhaul all of those because i'm not interested okay on this side we have my josie jaffrey shelf law because i don't think that this is going to be up my street i'm not huge in myth on mythology and i think if i if there's any mythology that i enjoy it's going to be norse mythology because i really really love like marvel and things like that so i think that's the mythology that i will like i don't think i like this one you know we're going to put it on the unhaul project <laughs> this is going well um okay okay we're down here you can barely see me but that's okay because you can hear me so i am making a complete fucking mess here and i can't move <laughs> thank you um i do have a little stack down here but this is for a video they're all oh shit they're all staying so on here um you know what this on whole project is basically doing to me is um making me feel like i'm getting rid of books off my shelves which i am but they're just going in a different shelf location 
I'm really hoping that that card comes up a couple times on the board because it will force me to go through these books essentially. Um, so now this I want as an unhold project. You know, I really love this cover. I'm going to keep it just for now because I really want to get a picture of this with Poison, this Poison Heart I think it's called, which is going to be Kaylin's next book, which comes out soon because the covers are going to be gorgeous next to each other. So I'm going to keep it on that basis. Um, but yes, I probably will unhaul it at some point. Right, these, this series, because these two series actually, I just don't think I'm going to get to them. And I've heard really mixed things about both, so... Um, we're going to get rid of one dark throne and three dark crowns because I've had them for so long now and I've just not picked them up. I don't even have the rest of the series. And then... Oh, that scared the shit out of me. And then similarly with the red crown series because I just... I'm not bothered. I just don't care. Oh, we're going to unhaul this because I've heard nothing but terrible things. Um, especially from Becca and Ashley. So they hated it and uh, yeah... I'm just, I can't be fucking bothered wasting my time on bad books, honestly. Do, 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 do. We're going to get rid of Six Foot Six. It's just a really small fucking quick reads book that I picked up for like a quid off of Amazon. I just don't want it. I'm not interested. Yeah, The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. I'm going to get rid of. I've had this for a while now and I've just not picked it up and I don't really have any inclination to do so. And Half a World Away by Mike Gale. I have had this. It came in... A subscription service but I'm not bothered about picking it up it's not what I would reach for myself so I'm gonna get rid of both of those I've got rules for being a girl um which I got an arc of last year but I obviously just didn't read it um which I feel bad about but I don't think I'm that bothered about it anymore to be honest so I'm gonna unhaul this one spin spin I have a couple stacks on the floor again but they're new books so <laughs> um I'm gonna unhaul An American Marriage. I've had this for so long and I just have not bothered to pick it up. Um, I was interested in it and I was gonna do it for a video at the time when I got it, but I just don't think I'm gonna pick it up anymore. So we're gonna unhaul that. We're gonna unhaul All the Bright Places um, because uh, this book has been uh, spoiled for me essentially. I know exactly what happens now. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I know what happens and I really wanted to pick this up before the movie came out but I just didn't get time to and then somebody spoiled for me on for spoiled me for it on Twitter and now um I mean I don't need to read it. So uh, and then I've got Girl Missing by Sophie McKenzie. I must have got this ages ago. I don't really remember when I got this but I'm not I don't even know what it's about but I'm not even bothered now. So that can go. Uh, we're going to get Fans of the Impossible Life. I got this for a video last year or the year before, I can't remember. And I haven't done the video. Um, and I think I may have been interested in this. Like, if I'd have got this, like, five or six years ago, I might have been interested. But I'm just not any longer. And then Killing It, um, I got at the same time as I got An American Marriage, I think. And now I'm just not bothered. It does sound kind of good, but to be fair. But, yeah, I'm not bothered. Okay, so I've dragged a couple more off. The camera went off because uh, it got bored, apparently. Um, so I'm going to get rid of Fast and Hard because I've just read this one. I gave it four stars, really enjoyed it. Um, but I'm going to get rid of it because I'm probably never going to reread it. I'm going to get rid of Mr. Dickens and his Carol because I got this a while ago and I just don't really have any intention of reading it, I don't think. It sounds really good, but I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that he ends up with a fascination with is with a woman and her son. And I the stalker trope does me no favours. I don't like it. It's a, it's a it's a trigger for me, so no. You should see me in a crown. I've read this one. I gave it four stars, really enjoyed it, but I'll never reread it. And then I've got When Dimple Met Rishi and There's Something About Sweetie, both by Sandy, Sandy and Menon. And I love this series. It's so freaking cute. But I'm never going to reread them, I don't think. I actually, I could read, read When There's Something About Sweetie because I really enjoyed that one. The fat rep in it was fantastic. But um, I don't think I'm going to reread them. So we're going to get rid of them. The covers are just so... Oh. They could end up back on my shelves. <laughs> um, okay, so we've done that one. They can go on there now as well because they're new. Okay, so we're down here now. This is my... A mess. That's what it is. This is my um, Cassie Clare shelf. And I've actually been wondering whether or not to unhaul some of these because... 
I've read them, most of them anyway. Um, just don't know what to do because I'm never going to reread. Certainly not the Infernal Devices because I enjoyed them, but they're not my favourite. Uh, did I get this sign? No. Okay, we're going to unhaul the Infernal Devices. This is going to be blasphemy and everyone's going to be fucking raging, but whatever. Um, I need the space. So we're going to unhaul... <laughs> not that it's made much of a fucking difference. We're going to unhaul that. Um, that's my favourite one though. Okay, we're going to do unhaul Chain of Gold because I didn't like this one um, at all. I gave this three stars i think which is my lowest rated shadow hunters book and i'm devastated about it um this was my special edition one and it's got my name and it's signed so i don't think we're gonna get rid of that but we might get rid of these on the basis i've read them and i wasn't a huge fan of the art style um where else we have shadow hunter codex yeah, I got Lady Midnight signed, but not Lord of Shadows. Am I likely to reread them? I don't know. I haven't read any of those short ones. Um, okay, well that's condensed that down a little bit anyway, because I haven't read any of these ones yet. So that's condensed that down. Um, these are my movie tie-in editions of To All The Boys I've Loved Before, which are staying. I haven't read that and I want to, I haven't read that and I want to, these are some pins that need to be pinned. Okay, we're going to get rid of this set of my To All The Boys I Loved Before, seeing as I have the movie tie-in ones and I actually prefer them to these. Um, these are still beautiful but I really love the movie tie-ins because Lana Condor's on the cover and I, I'm obsessed with her so um i don't think i'm ever gonna reread thug or on the come up so i'm gonna unhaul both of those but i have read them both and i think i gave them both five stars so we're unhauling those this is my lindsay kelk shelf so they're all staying yeah that lot can all stay let's have a butcher's down here real quick because this is like classics and poetry and some of this can go on my um what was I calling it? Unhaul cart. I think I did this last time, but everything can stay on that shelf now. <laughs> because um, it's all classics and stuff, and I think I will still want to read them at some point. I just don't know when, but I don't want to put them on my unhaul project either, so they can stay. Okay, so this is my thriller shelf. Um, this is new, so that's staying. I don't think I'm ever going to reread Wranglestone, but I kind of wanted to keep it to remind me to keep an eye out for the for the next one. I assume there's going to be the next. I think this is going to be a series because I enjoyed this. I gave this four stars. It's queer dystopia. So I really enjoyed it. I think I might keep it. Um, that can go on there though. So to here. Okay, we're going to unhaul those two because I've read them and I'm not going to reread them. Okay, last lot for this side um, because we're going to jump over to my middle grade and graphic novels as well. Um, so I've got All Boys Aren't Blue, which I've read and I gave four stars, really enjoyed, but I'm never going to reread it, so I'm going to unhaul it. We've got Long Way Down, which I also read, gave four stars, really enjoyed, but I'm never going to reread it, so we're unhauling. We've got A Family Recipe by Veronica Henry. I've read one of Veronica Henry's before and I've still got it. It's called How to Find Love in a Bookshop, but I really love that book and I do want to reread it. But I've had this for ages now and I'm just not fussed about picking it up. And then I've got Bringing Down the Duke and also rogue of one's own which is book two one and two in the series this series um i did start reading this but i got to page uh what page did i get to i got to page 56 i didn't get very far chapter eight but i just don't know if historical romance is my she says this but i've just got outlander i'm just not 100 percent if this type of historical romance is my jam i don't know we're gonna have to see but i am gonna unhaul these two just because i wasn't that fussed about these characters i put it down ages ago and haven't picked it back up so we're gonna unhaul these two on that basis um so let's go over and in fact i'm just gonna go over have a look and see what i'm interested in getting rid of and then come back and tell you okay I have a stack of uh, middle grade that I'm going to get rid of. Also a graphic novel. So I'm getting rid of Monster, which is a graphic novel that I read 
a while back was it for a raidathon or something i can't even remember i enjoy i think i gave this three three or four stars it was good i liked to drop the illustrations um it was good but i'm never going to reread it so we're going to get rid of that we're going to get rid of tinsel uh i read this over christmas and really really enjoyed it it's so good i gave it four stars but i'm probably never going to reread it so i am going to get rid of this one i'd rather uh someone else get the chance to read it similarly with a wolf for a spell i read this recently really really enjoyed it again gave it four stars but i'm probably never going to reread it but it's fantastic do highly recommend and then i'm also going to get rid of alice's adventures in wonderland because i just don't think i'm gonna like this at all and i've had it forever so we're gonna get rid of that one as well so overall i did a quick count just before i came back and i've managed to get rid of another 60 books um that doesn't count for all the books that are now in my unhaul project pile <laughs> so um yeah another 60 books i think i might actually do a separate video for the unhaul project um because i can then maybe do a video in future where i look back at that and see what happened with it so i think i'm actually going to do a separate video for that uh but i will try and film that now i think as well so that i've got it done and dusted but i hope you have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below um <laughs> I don't know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts are on them. Um, just bear in mind that chances are by the time you guys see this video, I will have gotten rid of these books. I will either take them to the charity shop, uh, sell some of them on um, Instagram, or will sell them to Ziffit, which is a company that will essentially just give you, you know, like... 10p anything between 10 and like two quid or three quid for a book um and they come and pick them up from you and you just get rid of them that way so um either way these books will be going to new homes and yeah just bear that in mind chances are i won't own any of these books anymore by the time you see this video so if you're commenting saying can i have this book can i have this book chances are i haven't got them anymore so my apologies for that but um yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed doing the purge. I now need to go through and like rearrange my shelves again, which will be fun. I kind of actually need to make more space for my um, graphic novels because I've got really many, many graphic novels now that I need more space for. So I'm thinking I might actually try and use this bottom lot for my graphic novels as well as my classics, keep my classics where they are, but put my graphic novels on these two shelves. Um, so it means I need to like move everything around again um we'll see what happens but i hope you have enjoyed and i shall see you in the next one bye for now